at this point. Our guys are doing great. I mean, uh, it, of course, there's, there's frustration. We're really close. Um, you know, it, it may not seem like that, but I know from being in our, our clubhouse and our dugout around our guys every day, all day long, like we're super close and we just have to keep keep going. So uh, our players continue to to do what they need to do. And, uh, you know, it's, it's difficult when you're not getting results, you get a bit consumed with the results. Um, and, and that's natural, but it's never uh, a great idea. So, um, you know, we just have to trust what we're doing and, and we'll break through. Did you see enough signs tonight that add to the confidence that you just talked about? Sure, guys had good nights at the plate. Um, give the, the D-backs credit. They played good defense. Uh, you know, Montgomery, obviously a good pitcher. You know, we, we had some good at-bats off him, and he was able to go deep into the game. He stayed with it and uh, you know, kept pitching, and uh, you know that was impressive. But offensively, you know, we did have some guys that had, had some good nights, and um, you know, and that. That is definitely a, a positive that you can build on, and, and everything matters. Graham said he was struggling um, tonight; um, just didn't have it. What were your impressions? Um, pretty good start for, for not having it. Um, yeah, I mean, really not a lot of hard hit balls. Not that that's everything. I mean, not taking anything away from what the Diamondbacks were able to do off of him, but Graham has good stuff, and even on a night, you know, where maybe it wasn't his best. Um, he gave us everything he had, and uh, you know, we, right there at the end, had an opportunity to win. That was your first lead in a while. To have it go away that quickly was that kind of a, a kind of a tough, tough, tough moment to have that you know have it and then lose it so quickly. Yeah, I mean that's a good point. I, I, honestly, we were, you know, our, our focus is just coming coming out on top in the end. So however we get there, and, um, you know. I get it. Would, it'd be nice to have a lead and keep it and all that. But um, you know, when there's other ways to win games, and we've really been able to do that. So uh, that was more of the focus tonight. David, every year is different. But when you go through a stretch like this, do you lean on past experience, mm -hmm. past years when you've gone through something like this and found a way to kind of find a focus to get out of it? Of course. I, I think I, you know, I answered a similar question. But, it, but I, yeah, I lean on the players. And, um, yeah, there's experience that we all have, that everyone has in this game, and um, you know it's a great challenge to play this game. That's why we love it. Um, it, 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 it can be very difficult, um, you know, but it, but it, it tests you, and when you stay with it, and you know, lean on kind of what I mentioned to Jim. Uh, you know, it's like very natural, especially with our players who care so much, not only about what they're doing individually, but you know, not letting their teammates down and want to do everything in their power to, to succeed and get the results like right now. Um, I would never want to change that. that. That's how it should be. But at the same time, like being able to um, kind of just trust that and then go out and play free. So um, we've done that as a team. Every single player in our clubhouse knows that's how you have to play. It's just trying to get to that to, to that point. I really believe we were, we were close. Um, we've been close for a long time. But tonight was an example of how how close we are to that. Offensively, David, obviously a big part of your game is speed and to see guys on base, stealing bases tonight, is that significant to you? Yeah, I mean, it, it is a big part of our game, our base running. Uh, you know, we, we want to be great in all areas. Um, I do think the base running is um, energizing for us. You know, we, 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 we're, we have speed and we have guys that care a lot about their base running, base stealing, and when we can get guys on base. Uh, we can thrive off that, uh, the energy. And, uh, you know, another good example, I mean, Stewart, big at bat, you know, in my mind, I want him to go, you know, and, and their guy made a great play and made a perfect throw and threw him out. But we have to continue to play that way. What did you see on the melee? Uh, India's uh, hit to right field, and kind of one of those in between situations. Yeah. It, 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 it is. And, I, and I said this directly to, to Luke, so I'm not saying anything behind his back, but when you're not a fast runner, you can get hung out to dry. And, and, and you're trying to do too, you know, too much because you, you've got to be able to get back if the guy makes a great plays, you know, and, and you get caught in between. Um, and he was locked in, he understood the situation, uh, you know, and he just got caught in between. And a lot of that has to do with, it's a little bit more difficult to run the base.
races that you're not a super fast runner. Steer is usually so consistent. What are you seeing from him during probably his toughest stretch since his rookie year? Same thing, you know, it's uh, you know, a great strength of Spencer, you know, being able to um, care a lot, but kind of then just kind of trust himself and, and kind of let the results come. And, um, but we're all human, Spencer's human, and just like everybody else, you know, he, he knows he's an important part of this team and maybe trying to do a little bit more um, than is needed, but I love that. I love that about our team and maybe holding us back right now, but in the end it's gonna get us where we need to be.